Hey guys, welcome to BT Travel. I'm Natasha King, your Bajan tourist. I was on the hunt for something fun to do and I hit the bullseye right here at Fields Archery. So I'm gonna grab a bow and arrow. We are gonna learn all about this age old sport and then you're gonna watch as I let my inner Xena the Warrior Princess come out to play. Let's go. Archery is one of the oldest arts known to mankind, with evidence of its existence dating back to 10,000 BC. We found out why it's so popular today when we visited Field Archery, a range that was opened five years ago by Ronald Field, a former member of the Barbados National Archery Team. Today, the well-kept secret is run by his brother Carlos, who says the range, which was initially something solely enjoyed by tourists, has become increasingly popular among locals. After giving it a try ourselves, it's obvious why that is. You can release some stress, build your concentration, and have fun at the same time. Carlos shows us the different bows and walks us through the techniques for hitting the bullseye. All right, so this is a basic uh, original Mongolian bow uh, with horn, as the limbs, mm -hmm. uh, genuine. Okay. That's one type of bow that we use, where you actually shoot the arrow off the knuckle of your finger. Okay. All right. And then we also have kampang bows, just like this one, which is what is used in the World Cup, mm -hmm. not the Olympics, as a lot of people think. Uh, and a, a lot of people outside Barbados use it to hunt with. And then we have the most basic Olympic recurve bow, okay. which we have here at the range. It's a lot of fun. But then you can also add stabilizers and side rods and sights and stuff like that to upgrade it. And we tend to keep it in a low poundage for the beginners. And lastly, but not leastly, our most popular bow on this range right now is our basic Why? bow, a snake bow. It is for both left and right handers. It is low poundage and it carries finger release aids, which makes it really, really easy to shoot. Okay, great. And this is what we're using? And this is what I'm going to show you today. Okay. Yeah? Time to get started? Yeah, let's get started. All right, I'd like to welcome everyone to Fields Archery this evening. And we're going to do a simple lesson on how to start from beginner and proceed to be able to shoot 10 meters. All right. First thing I want you to do this evening is the most important thing is safety. So we're all gonna put on an arm guard on your hand just around here. This will protect you from the string hitting your arm when it leaves the bow, if it does hit you. When you draw the bow, after you release the arrow, this string passes somewhere along that area. So it just protects your arm from the, the string hitting it. All right, that's basically what it is. But we are, we are gonna hold the bow in such a way that we'll give ourselves a lot more distance between there. What we're gonna be teaching you today is called a closed stance, which is you're gonna stand with your feet, shoulder distance apart, and you're facing this direction as we are all right-handed shooters, all right? And you're gonna hold the bow in your left arm. That's why we put the arm guards on your left arm. So you're gonna hold the bow, but we don't wanna hold it just like this, because if we hold it like this, you see how close it is to the arm guard. So if, if we hold the bow like this, which we all beginners tend to do, when we release, it's gonna hit you for sure. So what we wanna do is to keep the thumb towards the target and get these fingers at like a 45 degree angle. So you have a little hole, like if you wanna put a little tennis ball up in there. Now what that does is it creates distance from your arm. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to load the bow with the arrow on the left side of the snake bow because these are for left or right handed shooters and we're going to place the knot, this little orange thing, under this little gold thing called a knot as well. So it's always under the knot, okay? And always for the right hand shooter on the left rest because these are for left handed shooters or right handed shooters. So once again, we're gonna hold the bow like this. You're gonna put one finger above and two fingers below, and you're gonna keep these two fingers together. So it's like a claw grip type of thing. And we're gonna hold it like this before the first crack in your fingers. So don't grab it too deep, just at the tip like this. 
and you're gonna put a little draw, a little weight on the bow to hold the arrow in place. All right? So your shoulders are level, chest down, and you're relaxed. Come to below your chin here, and make sure your elbow is up. Don't shoot with this elbow down. Elbow up, relax, and just relax in your fingers. You made that look easy. That's my first shot in six years. Wow. Time to try to hit the mark. Look out, Robin Hood, you've got some competition. guys can i just tell you that that was so much fun i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed that um but what i will tell you also is that it's a lot it looks a lot easier on tv to hit the bullseye than it is in real life i mean i made it onto the board but i didn't get exactly where i wanted to go but definitely fun great way to spend twenty dollars just twenty dollars for an hour i mean amazing so if you want something to do, come down to Fields Archery in St. Lawrence Gat and Christ Church. That's it for me, Barbados Today Travel. I'm your Bajan Tourish slash Xena Warrior Princess. Until next time, see you later.